All right, good morning, Global Force Wrestling fans. It's your boy BQ here with some breaking news, breaking news in the world of Global Force Wrestling. And this one is a doozy. This isn't just a little uh, whatever. This is this is a big one. So uh, before I get into it, please subscribe to the channel if it's your first time swinging by. No one in the YouTube world is going to break that Global Force Wrestling news quicker than I am. And uh, it's your number one home for positive Global Force Wrestling discussion. So check it out. Subscribe. All right. Alberto El Patron, okay, me included, a lot of people, including myself, had a said and had assumed that the suspension was going to be lifted before Destination X. It is one thing to be watching a televised show where they're building up the whole LAX and Alberto angle, okay, that's one thing. It's another thing for their social media, um, especially the Twitter, to be promoting the match and promoting, you know, the image with Destination X. So that told me, okay, this thing's going to be concluded before the show and you know, we got nothing to worry about. They we, we just we just sat through 6 weeks of Alberto dominating the screen um with the angle with LAX. And um I'm going to read what the Global Force Wrestling or it's the Impact Wrestling website had written to this morning. And uh it's a couple short paragraphs you may or may not be hearing it for the first time, but I'm going to read it to you, um, and then we're going to go from there. So, GFW has concluded its internal consideration of the events surrounding the suspension of Alberto El Patron. While it is apparent that initial reports unfairly characterize El Patron's involvement in the incident in Orlando Airport, we are nonetheless disappointed with the manner in which he dealt with this situation. We expect more decorum from all on the GFW roster, especially the world champion. We have communicated with El Patron our decision to strip him of his championship title. No decision has been taken as to the date on which he will be reinstated to the roster, the conditions of which are private are a private matter between the company and El Patron. So we've got new management, we've got new ownership, all that good stuff. Uh, making strong, it's, it's funny, I'm reading about, uh, I'm learning about PR and uh, my college classes at the moment and my marketing classes. So it's pretty funny, but it's a PR move. I'm not saying it's a fake PR move. That's not where I'm going at, but they, you know, this was something they had to really consider. What are we going to do here? Because we can do, we can handle it the way Dixie Carter would have handled it and say, Oh, it's, it's, it's nothing. He, he's innocent. Or we can, uh, we can really do something that the wrestling world is going to respect. Because personally, the dumbest thing, even if he was 100% innocent, the dumbest thing they could have done was kept the title on him at Destination X. So that's why I, I was saying Loki's going to take the title off him. I've gone back and forth on how I actually feel about Alberto. But the one thing that I have maintained this entire time is that he is an, an un... Ugh, I'm, it's, you know what? I just woke up, party people. So excuse me for tripping on my words a little bit. Um... They are in an unhealthy relationship. I have been in a few myself. So, I, you know, if you guys heard the um, the busted, I forgot what the uh, Sirius XM radio co um, station was called, but uh, busted out or whatever it is. I, I don't listen to it too often. That uh, when they were asked about it, they were feeding them such bullshit. Um, Alberto obviously has a lot more experience with that, so he was pretty believable, but every time Paige opened her mouth, I mean, she's so young, <laughs> it's just it's just like, shut up. Um, so I'm going to say that I agree with this uh, for, from, from a public relations standpoint. Um, I think even from a creative standpoint, it adds uh, something, something um, what can I say, something just fresh and exciting for the destination X show and the, and the global title. It gives them the opportunity to put the title on someone that all of us fans really want to get behind, you know, instead of Alberto was a little bit of the, we're going to shove this down your throat a little. Now, you know, the haters might not see it this way, but the, the fans, I think the average global force fan can, can agree that he's done some really good work since coming to the company. I've been really impressed with the work that he's done. So the title is off him. We don't know what they're going to do with Destination X, which makes it even cooler. Um, unfortunate for low key, because he had a one-on-one -on -one title shot. Maybe there's going to be uh, a gauntlet match. Maybe there's going to be uh, you know four-way, three-way. We don't know. 
the dumbest thing they can do, because they have an opportunity to debut a few new guys, the dumbest thing they can do is put the title on a former WWE guy. So let's say, you know, John Hennigan shows up. Um, Jack Swagger shows up. Um, I don't think Austin Aries can show up because I think he has the no-compete clause, even though I did read a rumor that WWE is willing to waive that for him in order to get him to leave the company. <laughs> I don't know how true that was. Could have been, you know, Meltzer reporting. I don't know. Um, so, But the dumbest thing they can do is put the title on a debuting person, especially if they're from the WWE. So fans, Global Force fans, let me know in the comments what you think they should be doing with the global title at Destination X. They might announce something later today. We don't know. Now, regarding Alberto, real quick, I don't think we're going to see him back in the company. I know they're saying... Uh, what, what The good thing that they did was that they told him first before breaking it on social media. Because if you guys follow the NBA, or especially the NBA, <laughs> there's so much shit that comes out on social media before the player was even notified. So they did the right thing. Sounds like they had a discussion with him, so this is what we're going to do. You know, he could be pissed off right now. He could... Uh, he could um, understand i don't know you know i don't think i think the orlando thing was blown out of proportion but you guys heard the audio and that's not how a level-headed guy acts in a relationship with someone he loves i'm not saying they don't love each other i'm just saying that's it's an un unhealthy situation and uh that was just one situation caught on audio so um i don't expect to see him back in the company I think they're going to decide that he's too much of a distraction and they're going to move forward. Uh, I kind of disappointed because as I said, he gets a reaction when he goes out there, he's used to really big crowds. So he knows to fire up, knows how to fire up the smaller ones. Cause he's got that magnified, uh, uh, charisma and confidence. And I think it's a good thing to have. So let me know in the comments, folks. I want to know what you think about what happened, what transpired, and what you think is going to happen in Destination X with the GFW global title. The unfortunate thing is now the focus is going to be on the title more than the X Division and the guy, you know, because Loki is an X Division guy and he was in the world title match. So focus is a little bit off the X Division now. What do you guys think is going to happen? Subscribe to the channel. Talk to you guys soon. This is BQ and I'm out.